to settle a score. Set it up for Saturday. I want to do it someplace way out where nobody is off the track. What the hell are you doing here? Nothing, I'm just here. Back off! In this world, when desperate men meet. We don't want no- What's going on, man? You in the low-key cave? Keyshawn Knives YouTube page, aka Mr. Lowkey himself. We're doing a retro review of the movie Trustpass, man. This is one of my guilty pleasure action movies, man. This is an all-star cast movie also, bro. This movie stars Ice-T, Ice Cube, Bill Paxton, and William Sattler. Also, it starts rest in peace to the great Tiny Lester Jr., aka Debo. Yeah, man. I had to get into this because I did, like, two retro reviews of um, uh, horror movies. So I definitely wanted to get in some of my best action movies. And being that it's Black History Month, I had to throw two of the most uh, pivotal, not only rappers, but turned actors. But people don't have a big impact, not only in hip-hop, but in the hip, I mean, Hollywood industry. That's Ice-T and Ice Cube. You're talking about Ice-T, um, Law & Order, SUV, SUV for all these years. I'm talking about Ice Cube, been doing all type of movies. Just had NWA re, uh, remake and got his son out here doing stuff now. Movies. He was in Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Like, it's crazy out here. But I definitely wanted to get in Trust Pass. This is one of my guilty pleasure movies. I don't hear a lot of people talk about this movie, especially pertaining with like Ice T and Ice Cube, but even with Bill Paxton and William Sally. You know, Bill Paxton is like uh, aliens. You know what I'm saying? You talking about Terminator, the first one? William Sadler, man. I mean, William Sadler might not be known for... I mean, he's known to me. I feel like he done been in a lot of stuff. I feel like a lot of people should know William Sadler as far as, you know, if you're in the genre of movies. But he done been in a lot of stuff. You talking about um, Steven Seagal when he was in... He was in Demon Knight, one of my favorites with Jada Pinkett Smith. He was recently in Power... With um, you know, uh, Tommy, oh, he was playing Tommy's daddy or whatnot. So yeah, but let's get into trust pass. What really uh kept me drawn in with uh William Sadler and Bill Paxton's character and Art Evans was just the chemistry these guys had, and I'm talking about all three of them, man. You see how things begin when they first get in there, and you know they looking for the um gold or whatever or whatnot, and you see how things start to go, but. When you start to just watch them throughout the movie and you start to see how things are falling apart, but you see how they start to assemble together to tr try to work together because of the whole gold situation. Like, they all trying to get this gold and get it out of here without getting killed by this crew, uh, King James crew with Ice-T and Ice Cube's crew. And you see how they are trying to do all the, everything they can do to try to get out of here with this gold. And even before they find the gold, you see how they are already assembling, trying to get a plan together. And you see how Art Evans' character, Bradley, is not even interested in helping them at all. Like, he is, like, whatever with the situation, until he finds out about that gold. And it's like, okay, let's all work together to get out of here. But, like I said, man, just the chemistry between William Sadler, um, Art Evans, Bradley's character, and Bill Paxton's character, like... It has a good drive for the movie, too, and like I said, man, we done seen movies out here that pretty much falls off the rails when they don't have that good character arc or have more than one character that's supposed to be like a team or something that's supposed to assemble together, and all three of these guys are not a team when they first start off. Of course, Bill Paxton and William Sadler's character is, but our Evans' character, Bradley, he's not with these guys at all, but just what they try to do by the, um, what they try to do it by the beginning and between and in the middle of the movie is like the chemistry that's the main part as far as what they have going on trying to deal with ice t and ice cubes crew trying to get in there to save um ice t ice t's brother my bad man you got i mean we got two ices in this movie so i need to just say their name king james and savon <laughs> Bars are pretty solid. Bro, 
Buzz Pass is a movie about two guys, which is Bill Paxton and William Sadler's character. These two guys come across a map that they feel like is uh, pertaining to some gold. And this gold happens to be in a certain area. And this certain area happens to um, have a crew that runs this area. And this crew is ran by Ice-T. Ice-T and Ice Cube are leading a group of guys who came to confront another guy who had some misdealings going on in some territory that belongs to um, Ice-T's crew. And of course, dealing with this situation, you come across the other gentlemen that already happen to be in the building who are searching for the uh, treasure that they came there looking for. And throughout this situation, man, it's just crazy. <laughs> just tripping off Ice T and Ice Cube and even Tiny Lester Jr., aka Debo. I mean, having all these people in this role, man, it was, it was crazy, man. Just seeing this, like, I ain't even gonna say back in the day. I seen this probably like in my, probably like in the early 2000s, man. Like, I hadn't even never seen this. And when I first seen it, I was like, whoa, I didn't even know all these people was in a movie because. Like I said, even to this day, I don't really hear about this movie like that a lot. So this is definitely one of my guilty pre uh, guilty pleasures. And just having this assembled cast and the way this plot goes, like I said, it, it ain't like the best plot in the world. It ain't the best movie in the world. It ain't the best story in the world. But it does show how, how individuals, I mean, you already got uh, basically criminals or thieves or whatever you want to call these guys. Because like Ice-T said, we are not gangsters. We're not no gang or nothing. But when it comes to dealing with money or whatnot, you just see how people change and how situation changes. And you see how everything comes about with these guys. But you already know Ice Cube's already being a hothead about the situation that does happen with the other two guys. So, man, it's just good seeing these uh, guys on camera. And I say one thing. Ice Cube was probably out acting Ice-T in this movie, man. I don't care what you say. I feel like Ice Cube was out acting Ice-T in this movie. And um, Bill Paxton and William Sadler's character gets gets to this place, and they come across another guy that's basically a homeless guy, and his name is Bradley, play, played by Art Evans. And what happens, man, it's like, it's a lot that goes on in this movie, man. It's not one of the best movies in the world, but it's definitely one of the ones you can enjoy, man. I feel like police definitely would have showed up in a lot of these situations if they would have heard this stuff going on. I know in the movie they even say something about this, like, it be like the shooting scenes is going on. Like, um, William Sadler and Bill Paxton's character be trying to escape. Now and then, they be trying to, like, get up out of here. And you got Ice Cube and, like, Tiny Lester, I mean, Debo. You got a bunch of Ice T's henchmen basically making sure they can't escape. And they be shooting certain areas or whatnot. And I'm thinking, like, man, come on, man. Somebody gonna call police. Police coming somewhere. But then again, like I said, in these major cities, maybe, I don't know. But, like I said, man... You have Bill Paxton and William Sadler's character basically trying to come across some gold. And they in this area trying to come across this gold. While they're in the area looking for this gold, they come across, like I said, this homeless good guy. And they pretty much tie him up so he won't, like, get out to be, like, scrambling anywhere trying to tell him why they in here or not. Because, you know, they're not supposed... I mean, I ain't gonna say they're not supposed to be in this area, but it might be trespassing or whatnot. Who knows? Anyway, while they're in this area, Ice-T crew is basically confronting a guy about some things or whatnot. Long story short, Ice-T's crew pretty much kills this guy, throws him off the roof, well, throws him pretty much off the roof into the building that Bill Paxton and William Sadler's character is in. And when they throw him, Bill Paxton's character is out there, he sees this guy pretty much falling in the building, and Ice-T sees Bill Paxton's character. And pretty much Ice-T crew tries to go down and confront Bill Paxton's character, and while they're trying to confront him, William Sadler's character come out of nowhere and grabs Ice-T's uh, Ice Ice character's brother. And pretty much, Bill Paxton and William Sadler takes Ice-T's brother into a room and pretty much locks the door and pretty much hold, hold his brother hostage to keep themselves alive. And pretty much you got a situation that's dealing with Ice-T trying to get his brother back from these two guys, but not only that situation... Ice-T just killed the guy, and Bill Paxton and this other guy just witnessed that. So it's a situation where, yeah, you see where I'm going, where you have these two witnesses that just seen you kill a guy. Not only that, they got your brother now. And the situation with Bill Paxton and William Sattler is that, okay, this guy probably not going to let us go, so we got to 
think about how we gonna get out of here or not. Are we gonna try to stay and find this goal, or we just gonna call the police and just try to make an escape or whatnot? And that's the whole thing. And see, you trying to you in a situation where Ice T is like, okay, why are these guys not calling the cops? His crew is like, yeah, you get into that situation, and not only do that, you have these situations within Ice T's crew where they questioning Ice T like, is your brother really worth? Um, going through all of this situation for him, we could get up out of here because what if the cops come and this and that and the third? Because it's a lot of things going on with Ice T's brother. Like I said, I ain't gonna say spoiler, or not spoiler, because I feel like this movie came out in 1992. Man, I mean, like I said, it's not talked about a lot, so maybe a lot of people haven't seen it. So I'm not just gonna throw out all spoilers or whatnot to give a chance to people who haven't seen the movie, but pretty much Ice T's brother has a lot of going on with him and. The people in um, Ice-T's crew pretty much feel like they don't know if they should risk what they're going through to get his brother, where they could just go in there and pretty much bomb rush these boys and take them out and just leave the situation. And you have Ice Cube being this hothead. And I look, one thing I really love about this movie, Trust Pass, is this is that era of Ice Cube. And even looking at the background poster, if you can see it, this is Ice Cube just being mad. Like, he got the eyebrows down. You know, when Ice Cube was in all the movies, just... You just looking mad, <laughs> for real though. You know this is like uh, this is probably Ice Cube. This is before Friday and all of that. You know what I'm saying? This is Ice Cube real early on in his acting career. Like I said, this movie came out in 1992, so this was probably Ice Cube's first movie right after he probably left in WA. So this is it before all that situations that happened and everything. So yeah, man, this is like to me, this is a classic. Having all these people in there because. It, it has more people in there that you don't see in the other movies too, but like I said, the standouts, like I said, you have Ice-T, Ice Cube, and you have Debo, and Debo, like, he wear these certain shoes in a movie, like some cleats or whatnot, and you can hear, the, hear him walking and whatnot, because they got William Sadler and Bill Paxton's character have, like, this uh, metal detector, because like I said, they're trying to search for this gold or whatnot, and they or looking all throughout this warehouse thing they're in. And you have Debo, he got these certain shoes on and when all the shit go down or whatnot and they kidnap Ice T's son and they are sitting there searching for the gold still or whatnot because I mean they stuck in this situation because they can't escape. So they pretty much like, okay, while we stuck in this, we may as well keep searching for this gold or whatnot. And you got uh, Debo's character walking on top of them because he's up on the upper level of him because like I said, they're in a warehouse or whatnot. And he got on like these metal cleats and they just follow him. This shit is crazy, man. But like I said, he's one of these movies, man, where I feel like you definitely should check out if you're an action fan. Not only an action fan, but you're a fan of just these old classic uh, movies where you got like Heat. Um, you got Heat. You got movies like, damn, man, it's so many. You got the uh, John claude Van Damme movies. You got the uh, Steven Seagal movies from back in the day. It kind of puts you in the familiarity of those movies. You know what I'm talking about, those old classic action movies. Just so happened, like, Trespass, this could have simply been Bill Paxton, William Sattler, Steven Seagal, and Sylvester Stallone. Like, straight up, this could what this movie could have been. But instead, you got Ice Cube and Ice-T thrown in here. And to be honest, they really do steal this movie. And I'm telling you, the ending of this movie, the ending, like, yo... <laughs> Like, you ain't going to never guess who ends up with what. Because I'm not going to tell you if they find the goal. I'm not going to tell you if they find the goal who ends up with the goal. And I'm not going to tell you just it's a lot that goes on. What I really enjoy about this movie also, though, is when it comes to money, when it comes to situations where you in desperate need of something, it shows from both ends. Because what you got with Ice T and Ice Cube's crew is like they like man, like I said, they trying to debate if this this situation is worth even going through. And like I said, I, I feel this movie came out in 1992, so I don't feel like this is a spoiler. You know, going into the situation, Ice Cube's and Ice T, I mean Ice T and Ice Cube's crew come across the information that they know this gold that these boys are looking for this gold. So you got all this going on with Ice T's crew trying to be like, okay. Do we tell King James about this, or do we just keep this within? Or, like I said, it's a lot going on. Then you have Bill Paxton and William Sattler's character debating, like, do we keep looking for this gold, or we just try to get straight up out of here? You know what I'm saying? Like, this life or death situation now. So do we keep doing this? And you have these two colliding with each other because 
you have these characters telling about like we got situations outside of this like i gotta do this and that but it's like man do we risk our lives to do this or do we just go because like i said you had that situation where i see this crew like look man what if the cops come we can bail out of here right now we can go in there and take these guys down and be like boom let's go but that's the whole phenomenon with this movie. And that's why it's a good action movie. Yes, I'm going to say it's a good action movie. I feel like Ice-T and Ice Cube are on point with they acting. I really enjoy Ice-T and Ice Cube when they're acting. I believe they are these characters. Like, Ice Cube, Ice Key, I mean, damn. <laughs> Sorry, man, for messing up their names. But I feel like Ice-T is King James and Ice Cube is Savon. Like, the way Ice Cube walk around with, like, mad. Like, he really mad in this movie, too. Like, you would have seen movies where Ice Cube, like, doing what he do or whatnot. But to me, this is the movie where Ice Cube is the maddest. I'm telling you. He got the eyebrows, the attitude, and everything down packed in this movie. And Ice-T, like, when was, uh, I have to think. I'm trying to think if this was made before New Jack City. But anyway, Ice-T just got that straight-up swag coming off the rap scene. And to me, that brings a lot to the movie, too. But you all, of course, you got the, uh... Vets, which is do I feel like it's Bill, Bill Paxton and William Sadler, which I feel like I've already been doing what they've been doing. They've been doing movies forever. But I'm telling you, if you ain't watched Trespass, definitely check out check out Trespass, man. It's definitely one of them old school action movies you're going to enjoy. Not only let you're going to enjoy the story too, I feel like, because there's some pretty decent acting in this movie. There ain't no Oscar winning acting or nothing like that, but it's going to make you stay with the story and make you engage with everything that's going on with these characters. And I mean all of them. But I just wanted to get my review of Trespass, go back in the day, of course, that 90s vibe, and just want to talk about um, one of my favorite guilty pleasure action movies. Let me know about some of y'all favorite action movies, some of y'all favorite action characters, some of the best action movie scenes you done seen, and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, man, leave a comment in the comment section, man. Roll to 100 subs, man. We out. Here, buddy, I want it. Now you want to know why they didn't signal the police? Because they found something. Bill Paxton. Hey, McDonald, we're getting in awful deep. Ice T. We're not playing anymore out here. We're past the point of no return. William Sadler. Truth is, Vince, I don't see any way we're going to get out of here quiet. And Ice Cube. It's all about survival. It's all about getting yours. When you cross the line.